Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another beautiful mid-length wavy style to show you. This is Peerless 18 by Beltress in the color English Toffee. I can't wait to look at all of the details, but before we start, I wanted to ask if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, like and comment, and we'll get started. So I can't believe it took me this long to try this beautiful style. Um, this is so popular. Peerless is such a popular style for Beltress that it comes in three different lengths, 14, 18, and 22. This is the 18, so you could go shorter or a little longer with this style. And uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I can see why it's one of their more popular styles in the cafe collection. So let's get a good look at all the details. Um, what you have is this really flattering curtain bang. And I love this. This just really softens the look. And yet you don't have fibers in your face, even right out of the box. The fibers aren't bothering me. So I absolutely love that. And I just always have found this to be such a flattering look. She does have a center mono part and a lace front. We'll look at that in just a second. But gorgeous beach waves all over, as you can see. Um, and quite a few layers so that this doesn't feel like, you know, a heavy style. And you can play with these fibers easily and move them around. It doesn't feel really heavy or dense at all. Uh, it feels quite light and maybe light to medium density. So a very natural, beautiful looking style. Let's go ahead and look at that lace front. So it's not an extended lace front. It goes from here to here on me. But for a dark color, I think this is pretty well done. You do see just a few, well, it's a little denser here in the center. And then there are just a couple of dark knots here in the front. I'm not sure you can see that on camera. Hopefully you can. I might just pluck a couple of knots here. Minor plucking. Um, here, I think the density is nice and the knots overall are quite delicate. So I think this works really well and is a beautiful lace front. Uh, and I'll just correct a couple of knots there. I think I'll just pull those. So let's go ahead and look at her from all sides so you can see these layers and curls. Here she is from the right and the back. and the left. Absolutely stunning. And I realized I didn't show you that uh, lace part. So she is a center mono part and we still have that zigzag parting there that I will want to um, change the part for so that we can create some scalp appearance and then I'll steam that part in place so that it stays there. So we will do that together, but absolutely just a gorgeous style. And of course, as usual, gorgeous, luxurious feeling uh, fibers, which, you know, Beltress is known for. So absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to style her a little bit. And uh, so next we'll go ahead and we'll change that part and steam it in place so that it will stay there. Uh, and then we'll look at the cap construction. We'll go over some styling options for this beautiful style. I'll take her outside so we can look at this gorgeous color in natural light. And then I'll go over final thoughts. So I have my rat tail comb here that I like to use to change the part. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to try to run it down the center of that zigzag. I find that that's usually what works best. And we'll see what we get in terms of scalp appearance. That looks really wonderful. I will place some silicone scar tape under there. I like to do that to help create more scalp appearance, but I'm liking how that looks already. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip these fibers in place so that they stay there while I put her on the blockhead. And uh, then I want to steam this part in place so that each time I take the wig off and put it back on, I don't need to recreate this new part. So. I'm going to go ahead, put her on the blockhead, and we'll do some steaming. All right, so I have her on the blockhead and we're ready to do some steaming. Um, and again, we're just going to steam this new part line in place. We're not going to steam the fibers away from the face because I think the curtain bangs are already falling beautifully right out of the box. So 
Um, we'll just do that. I have my iSteam steam steamer here. This is just a handheld clothes steamer that I like to use to steam my synthetic and heat friendly synthetic wigs. I have uh, a video on my channel all about how I like to steam style my wigs and I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started. When steaming your wigs, be sure to keep your steamer moving. Don't leave it in any one place for more than three seconds and don't get too close to the delicate lace front and monofilament portions of the cap. All right, I think that should do it. Now I need to let these fibers cool completely and uh, for the new style to set, I'll put her back on and we'll see if we like those results. All right, so the fibers are nice and cool, um, but before I remove the clips uh, to see if we like how that part line stays in place, I do want to go ahead and um, pluck probably about three knots from this area. I hope you can see that in the camera. I'm going to use a little handheld mirror because I just don't see as well in the camera. Uh, and I wanna get this right. This is, of course, very delicate work. I like to use these little pointed tweezers. And of course, anytime you do any plucking, I just wanna caution, you wanna be very careful. Do just a few at a time. Don't pull out large clumps of fibers uh, and be very, very careful not to pull on the lace because you can absolutely cause the lace to fray or tear. Um, you really want to just uh, pluck the knot one, really one at a time. So let's go ahead and do that and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes even after you've removed the fibers, the knots kind of cling to the lace and then I just very gently try to tease them away from the lace. All right, I think I got them. I like how that hairline looks now. And it was basically three knots. That's all I needed to pluck. And the style you receive might have a perfect hairline where you don't need to do that. But um, overall, I think it's a beautiful lace front and it's easily corrected, especially in a dark color like this. Sometimes you're just going to have some dark knots that bother you. So let's go ahead and remove the clips. And just finger comb. And of course, that looks wonderful. Let me just see. Yep, just falls right back into place now. And I think that created a wonderful parting space um, and a very natural look. So ah, I love it. Next, uh, we'll go ahead and look at the cap construction. So I took a close look at it in the mirror and I do think I want to add just a little bit of matte eyeshadow to that parting space. I have my NYX shadow palette here and a stiff painting brush. And uh, I just like to add a little bit of powder with that silicone scar tape on the underside as well. The powder tends to adhere really well. So let's just do that. All right, and then I just like to pat it and remove any excess. And if it's too much, you can always remove the scar tape and it will come off very easily. Um, and then reapply if you need to or all right I think that's good maybe just a tiny bit more in the front here okay yep I like that now we'll look at the cap construction I did want to show you the front I added just a little bit more powder in the front and on the underside, um, I have the silicone scar tape. This is what I like to use to help create scalp appearance where otherwise my dark bio hair might show through this monofilament. So let's go ahead and remove that so that you can see this parting space. And uh, just so that you can see it, this is that AWD medical silicone tape that I like to use um, to help create scalp appearance. I'll leave that in my description box as well. Uh, and you can see the powder residue here where I have uh, applied some powder to help create even more scalp appearance. Um, so back to the cap construction. What we have, as you can see, is a center mono part. And there's quite a bit of space here to move that part around. Uh, and certainly even more as you reach, you know, the front hairline. So you could change this to a left or right part more towards the front if that's what you wanted to do with this style. 
and you have a lace front not an extended lace front you see it ends at the top of the ear tabs on both sides but it's it's a well done lace front and i think the way you would want to wear this style i think it works really well then we have soft ear tabs with metal stays a standard nape not an extended nape and bra strap style adjusters so you can adjust her to your circumference I have a 22 inch circumference head and I can say that this cap fits me very comfortably uh, and the open wefting on the sides and in the back also create a nice amount of stretch on this cap. I did check the style for permatease as I like to do and there is some permatease on this style but it's really well done, not at all too poofy. I think it helps maintain the shape. Lovely cap construction. So let's look at some styling options for this beautiful mid-length style. I think there's so much you can do with a lighter density style like this um, at this length and I think it would just look lovely. Let's go ahead uh, and just test a few. I always like to test an ear tuck and you can definitely do a little half an ear tuck here and that curtain bang is staying back with those fibers so that's wonderful I think you could do that on either side I like to do one at a time not both at the same time I just think it looks better yeah that works really well if those curtain bangs are bothering you you can just tuck them back um, that's wonderful then we have uh, the headband I want to use this to uh, show you how you can pull it back with a headband and also what kind of coverage I'm getting um, so again that lace front just runs from here to here on me um, wonderful soft hairline with delicate knots despite the fact that this is quite a dark color and again we did pluck just a few knots in the front there um, the ear tabs are ending here on me of course my low hairline is showing my dark hair here uh, and that is often the case um, so I do find though that this is a really nice amount of coverage on this cap so wonderful option lastly I definitely want to look at a ponytail with this style and uh, just so you know my bio hair is tucked under for this so let's go ahead and see what kind of a ponytail we can achieve all right now i want to let you know i wrapped that hair tie twice so i would say light to medium density not light density um, on this style and of course these curtain bangs will want to fall out you could tuck them or clip them back but i actually think that softens the look and is cute let's get a good look at that i haven't even seen it from all sides here she is from the right and the back and the left absolutely I think a cute look easily done you could also do a claw clip and clip this up um, and I think with these curtain bangs that really softens that look as well so very nice a nice amount of styling options for this style next we'll go outside and we'll get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light I'll go ahead and read you the description for this gorgeous color English toffee. Uh, the color code is 6F27 and it's described as a blend of medium and Tuscany rich brown with light auburn highlights. And here in the natural light you can see just a little bit of that. I'm seeing it here but it's, it's blended quite nicely. Just some subtle, beautiful highlights and a rich dark brown. I think it's very natural looking and I feel very comfortable with this color uh, because my own bio hair is dark brown with some gray in it. Um, but I think this is a gorgeous natural brunette if this is what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and look at uh, the lace front again out here. So you can see how natural that looks. And I do think some of the lighter fibers are in the front to help soften this hairline. Beautifully done. We have that parting space. And again, we have some silicone scar tape under there. And I placed a little bit of matte eyeshadow on the part. And of course, we plucked about three knots here in the front. So let's go ahead and look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right. In the back. and the left. 
just a gorgeous color, both outside in natural light and inside. I think it's just a very natural, warm toned, uh, deep brunette shade. Just gorgeous, and I think it suits this beach wavy style really nicely. So next we'll go over final thoughts. Peerless 18 here is just a gorgeous style. So beautiful and really required a minimal effort to get her to look this amazing. I think she looked amazing right out of the box. And all I really thought was necessary was to change that parting space that was zigzagged, added a little bit of powder and silicone scar tape, and I did pluck just a couple of knots. And of course we steamed that new part in place, but that is minimal effort. And I can't believe it took me this long to try this style. So. I love these curtain bangs. This is not how I ever was able to wear my bio hair, but I certainly think it's beautiful on this style. They're long enough though that I was able to tuck them and they stay tucked as well if that's what you wanna do throughout the day. So I think it's just a gorgeous beach wavy style with lots of layers and it feels light and silky and uh, I like the lace front as we said not extended but a lovely natural lace front and a beautiful mono part so just a wonderful style I will say these heat friendly synthetic fibers because they're on the longer side and you will experience friction against your clothing and furniture you will need to um, periodically maintain these fibers uh, to keep them from tangling. And I'll leave a link uh, in my description box down below for how I like to care for my heat friendly synthetic fibers. Since this is a wavy style, of course, you'll want to use a curling iron so that you can recreate these curls um, the way they are on the style. So that's easily done. And uh, I think also this color English toffee is a gorgeous color. I've tried it before and I love this natural, rich, warm brown shade. I think it just is stunning and um, it's amazing how delicate that hairline can look despite the fact that this is a dark color. So I love the style. I love the color as always. I hope that my review has been helpful and informative and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.